In this video, we are gonna break down how to do a cartwheel. Before they can do it, uh, practice a cartwheel, we just need to be able to teach them box splits. If they can't go the whole way, that's absolutely fine, but it'll really help if they can. So Saran's just gonna show us her best box splits. Try and encourage them to go on a line. Obviously, the better their box splits are, the wider their legs are gonna be in, in the actual cartwheel. So if you can get all the way down, that'd be brilliant. So once they've had a few goes of that and had a little practice, we'll move straight on into a straddle handstand. So we're gonna do it up against this block. So she's gonna put her hands on the floor. To start off with, they might have their hands a little bit further out. Gonna have her legs apart. And then from there, you wanna encourage them to get their hands as close as they can, so their bum's not sticking out. And getting their legs nice and wide. Try and get them hold to hold that for 10 seconds. As you can see, she's got nice wide legs, so that'll be a, a, a good way of moving on to a cartwheel. And then from there, she needs to walk her hands up. As I said before, it might not look like that to start off with. If you get some lower blocks, they can just rest their feet on the blocks and put their hands on the floor just to develop their shoulder strength, ready for when they do move onto a cartwheel. Now we're gonna start thinking about the technique a little bit more, not just the strength and flexibility. So we're gonna move over to the blue block here. Saran's gonna put her fingers facing forwards on the block here. From there, she's just gonna practice jumping over from side to side, just like that. If that's a little bit tricky for the smaller gymnasts who can give them a bit of help. So you can just stand in front, hold their hips, and jump over like this. Now I'll try and get them to do around five to ten. Let them have a little rest. Let them try again, see how high they can get their legs without falling over. Once they're confident at this, they're gonna do exactly the same thing, but they're gonna do it onto one leg. So she's gonna start in a nice like straddle shape. And she's gonna have her hands on there, have her leg nice and high, so she's in straddle. And then from there, she's gonna jump her feet onto the other side, just like this. Good, again. And you're gonna try and do that five to ten times again. She's just gonna show you on her own now. Good. They might find this a little bit tricky to start. Again, just be patient with the gymnast. Some gymnasts will learn it quicker than others. It's absolutely fine, they all learn at different paces. Once they can do that, uh, they can then move on to the same thing, which is gonna start in a star shape this time. And then she have her arms nice and high. She can do a couple rocks into it if that'll make it easier. And then she's gonna put her left hand here and her right hand's gonna go to the other side to support her for a cartwheel over the block. And then once she's confident, she can then try it on her own. So you need to just make sure they're going the right side when they're doing their cartwheel. You want them to encourage bending their legs to start and then pushing it so they get a nice bit of speed into the cartwheel. She's gonna show us one more time. Push, keeping her legs nice and straight. Once they've done that, we can then add another block on top and she has to go a little bit higher and go over the block. Here, arms are nice and tall, she's going to push, kick her uh, right leg over as fast as she can over her head, try and be nice and confident. If they keep landing with two feet when they do their cartwheel, um, we can make it a little bit, uh, we can break it down a little bit more. And she's going to start here with her arms up and she can kick and swap legs and stand up. So from there, kick and swap legs. And that'll help her think about putting one foot down before the other when she's moving onto the cartwheel. But I'd probably recommend doing that one uh, if, if they're struggling with the cartwheel with their legs apart. Once they can do it over here, you can make the blocks thinner and thinner, and thinner ready to try a cartwheel on the floor. And it's exactly the same supporting. So I'm gonna hold her hips when I support it. She's gonna start here. So one, two, three, hold her hips, land back on the star. Hopefully, once she's confident, she'll be able to do a cartwheel. 